Hello and welcome guys. So in this video, we are going to discuss about convolution neural network. So let's see how convolution neural network works. So this is a convolution neural network cheat sheet from stanford.edu. And uh, before getting started, first of all, let us understand where we can use convolution neural network. So basically convolution neural network used in uh, all image related problems and time series analysis problem or text classification problems. So these all are the field where we have, uh, where we are going to use convolution neural network. Convolution neural network uh, is a part of deep learning and it is used to deal with image data set and also to train our model so that model can, uh, can get ability to uh, classify images. Its application I've used in my previous projects. I have made one project tutorial in which I have explained how to make a cloud recognition system where I use convolution neural network. So let's understand what is convolution neural network. So convolution neural network is divided in three processes. Here as you see First process is convolution, second process is pooling, and third process is fully collected. So convolution neural network take input image and perform convolution process, then further it perform pooling, then in next process of fully connected, it convert that image in the form of input to the neural network by executing the process of flattening. So let us understand what is convolution, what is pooling, and what is fully connected, okay? So this is convolution layer. So first of all, we have to understand about images. So images are divided into pixel and images are treated in a two-dimensional matrix form like this, okay? This is a two-dimensional matrix form. So in the process of convolution, we have to make a convolution layer which take a filter. This is a filter. Like if we uh, read this, the convolution layer uses filter that perform convolution operation. Okay. So this filters perform convolution operation and it is scanning the input I with respect to its dimension. We have to define some dimension of this filter um, with respect to the size of image. We have to define the filter dimension and we have to scan each each with that uh, size of that filter and extract the important feature from that image. Okay, so using this filter, we are going to scan the each uh, elements of this matrix and we are extracting the important feature from that size of filter and putting in it in a separate matrix. Okay, and this movement here, as you see, the movement is of one 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 column it's moving okay so this is a size this is a stride size s this is a stride if we define a stride is equal to one then filter will move one one unit only okay and f here as uh, if we read this it's hyper parameter include the filter size f this is filter size f which is three cross three matrix so here it's hyper parameter include f and stride s so here f is three because it is three cross three matrix and stride size is one here because it's moving one time only it's moving one one unit okay and extracting the important feature from this three cross three matrix and putting it in a separate matrix okay so this output is called as feature map so this is our feature map which we have extracted using filters okay so this is a convolution layer part so convolution layer works like this convolution layer uses filters and it uh, we have defined stride size and filter size and we move according to stride size and extract important feature from that uh, sub matrix and store in it in a separate matrix called feature map or activation map okay so this is our convolution layer part so this is done and we we define uh, two three layer here not only a single layer based on uh, our data set size okay if we want to make a 
suppose we have a three to four GB of data set, very long data set, then we have to convert as and also we have a very high quality of images. So we have to take important feature from that image and using this process, we are also we as we see here, we reduce the size of image also. So we are only focusing on important feature of that image. Okay, not the irrelevant feature. So size is also reduced and it's also important because if we are going to use this original image, then the neural network will take a lot of computation and also we are not going to get a good result. Okay, so it's important to reduce the size and focus on important feature of that image. Okay, so convolution part is done. Now let's discuss about pooling here after passing this input to the convolution we get our activation map or feature map now this feature map passes to pooling process okay so let's see what happens in pooling so this is a pooling layer so here pooling is of two types max pooling or average pooling so here also the pooling layer is a down sampling operation type typically applied after convolution layer as i discussed which does some special invariance in particular max or an average pooling are a special kind of pooling where the maximum and average values taken respectively okay so in max pooling we are going to move uh, as here we are using this filter so here we are using max max or max as a parameter and we are going to extract the maximum value from this two cross two matrix here, as you see, we are moving to two strides. Here, if you see two strides, here we are moving to two strides and we are going to extract maximum value from this two cross two matrix and storing in a separate matrix. This is also another uh, step to reduce the size of image, redu reduce, further reduce the size of image. So this is also a another process to reduce further the size of image and also focus on important features of that image. Okay. So that's why we are using this pooling process. We can use max pooling or we can use average pooling in average pooling here. We are taking uh, average value of this two cross two matrix and storing here then average value of this two cross two matrix and storing here like this we are storing all this value okay so using this process also we are going to reduce further the size of image and focusing on important feature of that image okay so this is also completed so after executing polling we are going to perform another process called flattening which is going to happen in this fully connected layer okay this is fully connected process we are we are going to execute flattening so how flattening executed so the fully connected uh, operates on a flattened input where each input is connected to all neurons if present fully connected layer are usually found toward the end of convolution neural network architecture and can be used to optimize objectives such as class code okay so this fully connected this two dimensional matrix is converted in a as a input of neural network so that we can pass it to the neural network by defining hidden layer and further more hidden layer and then to get our result on output layer that's why fully connected process happens sometimes we also use dropouts because dropouts helps to prevent overfitting so that that part we will discuss when we make some model okay so basically convolution neural network have three steps convolution pooling and fully connected so this is our convolution layer here we are going to use filters to uh, filter this uh, to filter and extract the important feature in a separate matrix by defining filter size and strides and then we perform further uh, pooling process where we can use either max pooling or, or average pooling to extract the maximum value or average value from that sub matrix and store in a separate matrix okay to focus on important feature of that image that's why we execute these two processes 
then we convert that two dimensional output as a flattened input to the neural network okay that's why we execute this process because after that we are going to pass it to the neural network so that neural network can learn and understand the features of that image and our model get trained and so that we are ready to recognize if we are going to make any recognition system something like cat or dog so we are going to recognize here whether the image is of cat or dog so these all learning process are going to happen in neural network by using activation function and back propagations uh, by adjusting the weight we are going to train our model and model will learn whether it is cat or dog and it provide it in a on a output okay so that we can predict also whether this image is of cat or dog so for that training process we are going to use neural network so we need input for that neural network so that's why we are going to use this fully connected process to flatten that two two dimensional matrix in a as a flattening input to the neural network okay and after that these all are some mathematical steps which we can see here from here this is filter which is of f cross f which is uh, as i discussed here it is three cross three matrix okay so this is a dimension of filters and this is a strides if we define stride s is equal to one then it moves one 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 unit okay so these all are the some parameters which we are going to use when we are going to make a model related to convolution neural network okay so that's all for this video thank you guys thanks a lot for watching this video